All right, good, uh, good afternoon. I'm here with uh, Andrew Ryan. How you going, Andrew? Not too bad now. Friday evening. Friday, yeah. Um, we're at uh, Wyong Hospital, our Wyong Hospital project. Um, Andrew, why don't you uh, tell us what we're building here? Well, we've been here since December last year. It's a seven story new hospital for Wyong. As you can see, it's C shaped, new plant level here on level three and on the roof. Um, engaged by Richard Crooks, the form workers, the plumbers, the earth workers, and it's uh, been a long job and it's coming to a close now. Yeah, not a problem. All right. Um, what? Okay, so yeah, we've been doing all the services. Uh, what's been your favourite thing about the job? Um, favourite thing is pretty much just the building. Once the levels started going up, everything started coming together. I was able to work with the trades. They knew when when they needed me. They knew what. Uh, what I needed particularly and they, need, they knew when to just leave me do my job yep and that's probably been the smoothest operation I've been on when it comes to actual nobody getting in our way or affecting our work and allowing us to actually do what we were up there to do yeah not a problem all right what uh, challenges have you had on the job well the design has been quite um, an issue it's still an ongoing issue and we've been rectifying it as we go and um, I think the client has been pretty happy with everything that we've done this pad here is a prime example this pad was poured in february and the, when they went to set out the walls last week they discovered that it was 100 millimeters incorrect oh great there, there was a revision after it was poured and then we had to this morning i've had to just do an as built of the actual hub walls and then reset out the hub walls for when they when they cut them down and rebuild them yeah so just little things like that that actually accumulate but the client are happy that we're finding these issues and they can report back. So how did you save yourself from being told that you made the mistake? Well, I did set it out as a variation and I went back, I checked my checklist. I checked it when, when I checked it, I found out that, yep, the slab is the wrong thickness. Then I went and re-evaluated what the revision was at the time. I found that they had changed the revision about two days after the pour. They didn't cloud the drawing and so when the block layers oh, came great. to when the block layers came time to actually put the build the walls on top of the hub walls, they were like everything's out 100 mil. Yep. So we're talking about this right slab here, just this, here. This is the this will be the generator um, room for the for the diesel. So did anyone at any point in time try and blame you for for the error? Yes, I was <laughs> I was the first port of call. Yeah. Okay. If in doubt. If in doubt, exactly. Blame the surveyor. Yeah. So um. All right, um, what, uh, what other learnings have we had on the job? What's been something interesting that you've learnt on this job that you haven't learnt on another job? Well, I'm still getting better with the actual software. I've had to do a lot of volumes on this that I haven't had to do on previous jobs. There's a lot of waste material yep. like down in this area here, these stockpiles here. Yep. So it's just improving on the actual software itself. What software are you using? I'm using Brilliant Enforce. Enforce? Yes. So. I'm not used to doing the DTM calculations on it. I'm still improving day by day. So yeah, that's uh, that's in, just in terms of actually what we use at TSS. But on this job, it's the it's always controlled. When you're on a job like this, where you've got car park on that side, an existing hospital on that side, and absolutely nothing on this side. Because you're on the side of a hill, kind of thing yes, here, aren't yeah. you? And, and so it's an, all this low is a down this side as well. So they're, they're not supposed put to really it. disturb this area here either. Put a target up near the top of the tree or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I question. thought you said rectifying control there before. Yes, so... What do you mean rectifying? Like, can we just... Next time and when I interview, you don't say the word rectify because that implies that there's been changes. Yeah. Well, it's, it's just been an ongoing issue just to tie into everything that's existing. Ah, there's, okay, there's yeah, yeah. There's two previous surveys that put the building in their incorrect position. They thought that they were going to be square. There's actually a 1.5 meter rotation in the existing building with this building that wasn't planned for. That's why the bridge, they had to redesign the bridge. It was originally supposed to be parallel. So it's, now, it's now at about a 15 degree angle to avoid the plant room on the existing building. Gotcha. So the age old problem of a new feature matching it with an existing Correct. feature. So people, this happens all the time and this is just another example and it happens in building and civil you know you you build the curbs and i'm sure there's a problem down the end of this road where it ties in with the existing curbs and there might be a hundred mil difference and the designers have used the 
you know, the, the gutter levels and the gutter line to marry in the design top of curb and there's always those kind of issues. So, um, and as I've talked about before, we had a problem at Campbelltown Hospital probably seven or eight years ago that saved us about $80,000 Abbey Group where we'd set some grids out that didn't match the existing building and Cookie wrote on a, uh, Alex Cook wrote on a docket that um, the existing grids don't match the existing building oh sorry the the grid the design grids don't match the existing building as discussed with the foreman and he wrote it on his docket and um and then uh, a month later they tried to basically they'd started putting up structural steel and they tried to um sue us they sent us a bill for eighty thousand dollars because the structural guys had to go back and do work um fix uh rework and it uh it was basically that docket that saved us so um so all right, yeah, those kind of problems still happen. Um, all right, uh, all right. What have we had? Down, what have we got? What else have we got down here? What, what are we? Just an entry road? Is there anything in particular this about is, this road? No, this is the fire access trail for the ambulance. Or sorry, for the fire brigades if there happens to be a fire in the hospital. So, yep. deck who we're still engaged with, they're working down at the entrance. And, um, we're still working for those. They're they're going through eventually. Just uh, it's going to be a shuttered road. I don't actually know what the finished material is. I don't believe it's going to be bitumen. It just might be compact like a DGB or something. DGB or something, yeah. It'll go around. There's a turning circle around. Yep. We've actually, one of the other issues is I've actually had to design the road several times. I think I'm on revision seven now. I've had to shift it because, again, it's a nature reserve. So they weren't allowed to take down some of the trees. And they'd never done a survey there until they'd actually cut the trees down. And we went in, did our survey. Kieran Mullen at the start of the job did the initial survey. I followed in. Had to shift the road and the yep. turning circle to suit where the existing trees are. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah. Now that gets me to a good question. Who else has been involved in this job? Well, the big dog Benny Byrne has helped me on the big pours. This is a strange job in that there are three pours on every level, but the first pour was probably twice the size of the other pours combined. It was a very strange system. So once a month, Benny would come up here and he'd help, help me on the Friday or Saturday morning yep. and we'd get it done by, by midday. But it was all systems go when it was Benny here and I we just didn't speak to each other until we got it all done and got off the slab. Yeah, okay, yep. And, but other than that, it's been me full time here. Yep. So as you can see, it's structure's Kieran. complete, it's starting to wind down a little bit. Kieran a little bit at the beginning. Kieran, Kieran set it up at the beginning and uh, yeah, I took over immediately. So. Yeah. And I think there's talk about maybe getting Timmy or Blake involved. I believe so. Or and something. also, there is a southern elevation. The existing building now has a southern elevation that's going to be. Um, they're starting on that. They have to redesign the piles because the sewer, uh, the stormwater line, is underneath the piles. Yeah, that's so right. Joe, Joey helped me with the with the scanning of that, and he also he also did some work for me last week for notes off. So. Yeah, awesome. All right, thank you very much, and uh, thank you for doing a good job. I've just been in talking to Dane the. Um, uh, what would you? What would Dane's position be? General foreman. Uh, yes. General foreman, and and uh, what score did he give you out of ten, Andrew? Minus four or five. Uh, he gave you eleven out of ten, mate. Well done. All right. Thank you very much.